Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Wenlei. Uh, thanks very much for giving me this opportunity to share some of my studies on this webinar. <clears throat> uh, my name is Yong Chen Liu. I'm now an associate professor at Xi'an Jiao Tong University. Uh, today, my topic is compact elastic wave controller based on meta material and uh, meta surface. Uh, I'll talk about what is the meaning of meta surface and what and how can I use it to control elastic waves. Uh, before doing that, I, I would like to brief uh, introduce myself. Uh, I got my PhD at uh, Peking University in 2015 and majored on solid mechanics. Uh, during that, that time, I went to Purdue University. Yes, also Purdue University, but uh, at the School of Aerospace for one year as a joint training PhD student. After graduate, I went to the University of Birmingham and Hong Kong University of Science and Technology uh, for my postdoc research. Uh, in September uh, of, of 2018, I joined uh, Xi'an Jiao Tong University. Uh, okay, uh, my research interests mainly focus on the manipulation of elastic waves uh, and the design of metal materials and the metal surface. Uh, and uh, this is also my topic today. My presentation includes uh, five parts. Uh, firstly, I will give you a brief introduction on the motivation of my research. Uh, it is known that elastic waves in solids and uh, vibration control are closely related to many engineering fields. Uh, for example, in aerospace uh, engineering, the imaging accuracy of satellites is determined by the uh, micro vibration uh, suppression level. Uh, we use the elastic wave also to do structural health monitoring for aer aeroplanes. Uh, in geology and uh, civil engineering, uh, we have been trying to prevent the propagation of elastic waves uh, on the ground uh, for earthquake resistance. And the study of wave, prog wave propagation in solids is the theoretical basic of petroleum exploration. With so many applications, uh, we naturally want to improve our ability to control uh, elastic waves. And the natural question is, can we control elastic waves in a arbitrary manner? For this problem, I have to say that the elastic wave, wave, propagation, wave propagation is an old question, but how to efficiently control is, the, the propagation is, is quite a new topic. In the past uh, 20 years, uh, two effective methods to control waves using artificial materials have been proposed. Uh, one is using the artificial bulk medium, namely the so-called MITA material. Uh, MITA materials are man-made uh, structures with unusual properties. Uh, for example, uh, one can design a complex structure with inhomogeneous material properties uh, to let the wave bypass the region, uh, the left uh, picture, uh, to make it uh, invisible. Uh, and another example is we can design a material with negative properties uh, to let the wave reflect in the neg negative direction. And uh, the, the second method is just uh, using a layer of artificial surface uh, or interface with specific boundary or uh, interface conditions. We call it a meta surface. Uh, for example, the meta surface can let the wave ground change abruptly to achieve negative refraction. Uh, and uh, and later, meta surface uh, was also used to design holographic devices and so on. Uh, compared with the meta material method, 
the metal surface is compact, uh, compa compact in size and easy to fabricate. So it's more practical. Therefore, we choose to study the wave to control elastic waves using metal surface here. The basic principle of metal surface is the general the generalized uh, Snell law. We are all familiar with the Snell, Snell's law, right? When a light passing through a boundary uh, between two different uh, media, the ratio uh, of the signs uh, of the angles uh, of incident and the refraction is equal to the ratio of their refraction index, namely N1 have N2 times uh, sine theta 2 equals N1 times uh, sine theta 1. Now, if we use a metal surface to design an uh, artificial boundary, uh, the boundary can be inhomogeneous, in then the Snell's law should be generalized into this form, into this form. Accordingly, the wave, pro the wave propagation direction is changed. Actually, the metal surface is quite similar to a wall of varying height. The shortest way across the wall uh, must be changed accordingly. Uh, based on this principle, researchers have used the metal surface to make abnormal refraction of waves, uh, the focusing of waves, and the let the waves propagation along a certain certain curve, a uh, certain uh, path. We are dedicated to investigate uh, other applications uh, of elastic metal surface and to further develop the generalized uh, Snell law, GSL. In the following, I'll show you some examples. Uh, the first one is to use metal surface to design source illusion devices. For example, uh, if, there is so, if there is a source uh, here, uh, namely the red, uh, the red circle, and we want somebody to think that the source is in the center of the region. How can we achieve this? Achieve this? A uh, previous approach is using the conformal mapping uh, in, uh, in, in, the, in, the, in a certain region. By doing this, we can get the needed material uh, rho prime, E prime, and the nu prime. Uh, if we let the region has this material properties exactly, uh, the wave will be redirected as if the source is placed at the center. Uh, as you can see, uh, the material properties are complex and we need a bulky region to do this. So it's quite difficult. Now, let's see our metal surface method. It's quite a direct method actually. Uh, first, uh, a target source can generate a target wave pattern. Uh, that's the left figure uh, described by phi target. If we have a original source, for example, a point source, it will gener generate a original pattern, of course, described by phi original. Then we use a metal surface to make up the first discontinuity that phi. That phi equals the phi target uh, minus uh, phi original. As a result, we can achieve target field pattern outside the metal surface ring. By doing this, the source is thought to be the target of one. So this is a basic principle of um, source illusion using metal surface. Uh, how can we? Uh, design the metal surface. After some attempts, attempts we chose the zigzag uh, structure as the uni unit cell of metal surface by changing the geometric parameters D and H. 
we can tune the phase uh, from zero to two pi e easily actually. Mm. Now I would like to give you some examples of such illusion. The first one is a source shifter. If we place the source in the center and the wave looks like to generate from another position minus the S zero. We designed the, and fabricated the sample and shown in the top uh, figure. The sample is an acrylic plate with about uh, 30 times 20 centimeters squares. So we just need an ordinary 3D printer to print it. Then we measure the, the wave propagation behavior using a laser vibrometer. Uh, this is the result, uh, experimental results in the time domain. After FFT, we can get the field pattern at uh, each frequency. Here is the result at uh, our target 12 kilohertz, fitting well, very well with our target wave, uh, wave, wave field. The soft shifter actually is quite uh, robust. If we change the working frequency, uh, for example, to 10 kilohertz, or change it, uh, or we place the, uh, the, the source to another position, it can work very well still. Uh, besides, the so besides the source shifter, we have also designed some source other source illusion devices, such as the such as the source transformer. Uh, with the source transformer, we can transfer the cylindrical wave, uh, wave pattern to uh, our bond source into a spiral one. And then another case is the source splitter. Uh, with the source splitter, we can use a point source to generate the wave pattern of several sources. These devices are also very robust and uh, can work in a uh, broadband. Okay, now let's go to the third part. Uh, we can use meta surface to achieve asymmetric transmission of elastic waves. As for the asymmetric re uh, refraction of waves, uh, Li Yong uh, from Gyoki University has proposed a lossy meta surface to achieve it uh, uh, in acoustic waves. For acoustic waves, they use lossy materials to design meta surface uh, in the in the positive positive direction, uh, the waves can propagate, but uh, in the negative direction, not. Uh, this work is quite uh, beautiful, uh, but uh, the problem is that the lossy matter surface uh, will make the transmission energy uh, smaller, uh, small, uh, and uh, can we let the wave doesn't trans transmit on the one on the one side? on the one side, but uh, with very high transmission on the other side. Uh, and can we do it without uh, using lossy materials? Uh, so both problems are still challenging. Uh, fortunately, last year, uh, Fu Yang Yang uh, from Suzhou University has found a modification form of the generalized uh, snail law uh, they found that the number of unit cells are very important to the wave, wave propagation behaviors. Uh, we can change the diffraction order n and uh, the number of uni unit cells m to decide whether the waves transmit or reflect. Now we will we'll, we'll use this principle to design a symmetric transmission meta surface. Uh, this is our principle based on the modi modified GSL. Uh, we try to let the diffraction order equals uh, uh, plus one and minus one only. And then by choosing the number of unit, unit cells as odd numbers, like three, uh, we can let the um, wave from both directions go upside all the time as a result. Uh, the waves can reflect from the positive uh, side, but uh, transmit from the, uh, the negative side. Note that uh, we don't need any 
lossy materials here. Uh, here is the full wave simulation results. As we can see, the waves uh, from the positive side almost uh, totally reflected, and the waves from the negative side almost uh, totally transmit, transmit to the other side. So we have achieved a efficient asymmetric transmission. Uh, for example, uh, for com comparison, uh, we designed a metal surface with an even number uh, of unit cells, M equals four. Uh, the resulted um, wave pattern are symmetric now. Uh, besides that, we besides that we have checked the effects of loss. Uh, the uh, the incident angle and uh, the working frequencies. Uh, we found that our metal surface are very robust to the incident angle, the input uh, frequency, and the loss. Uh, we then did the experimental verific verification. It so that our metal surface can work uh, can work very well. Here is the experimental results and it, it works uh, in a wide range of incident angle and a wide range of frequency. Uh, now let's go to the fourth part. I'll show you how to design amplitude shift matter surface. Why we need amplitude shift matter surface? Uh, this is because current matter surface can only control the phase discontinuity of the interface. And the, gen and the theory generalized the Snell law within, is within the scope of geometric theory, actually. Uh, on the other hand, generally speaking, uh, along, uh, for the boundary of the excitation field and our target field, both phase and uh, amplitude should be discontinuous. Uh, continuous. So, it's not uh, uh, enough to control phase uh, only. Uh, we need to control both phase and amplitude at the same time. And uh, we need new theory to cover the phase and the amplitude shift at the same time uh, uh, with a better uh, analysis it in the scope of wave, wave propagation. So, uh, we need the next generation of elastic metal surface. Uh, we will use some examples to see how to design amplitude shift metal surface. The first one is to transform a cylindrical wave into a Gaussian beam. A, a point source uh, to generate a, a, a um, Gaussian beam like the, this, this field. Uh, uh, based on the theory, the transmission and the phase discontinuity should be like this. And uh, here is the theoretical obtained field. We know that if if we don't cover the uh, amplitude uh, discontinuity, the resulted wave field should be like this. It's quite uh, different from our uh, target uh, pattern. So the amplitude shift and metal surface is quite necessary. Uh, in, in reality, we use the exact structures to design the uh, real structure, the real metal surface. Here is our design. We just uh, tune the uh, geometric param uh, parameters D, H, and the number of the zigzag of the zigzags to tune the phase and the amplitude. Oh, sorry. Oh, here is the uh, FEM results, which is quite uh, similar to our target pattern. And uh, the, the, this metal surface has been experimentally verified Okay, so now the second example is to focus waves by only amplitude shift modul modulation. We note that in our, 
in this case, uh, there's no uh, phase shift at all. And uh, here is the uh, FEM results and our mirrored results. Uh, okay. And uh, we found that if we place uh, we place some obstacles behind this metal surface, it can also work uh, very well. So that's it. To sum up, we are using metal surface to achieve uh, the compact wave uh, control of elastic waves. Uh, for example, we designed source illusion devices, uh, asymmetric transmission of, uh, of elastic waves, and uh, we proposed the uh, amplitude shift uh, metal surface. Uh, we, uh, this example shows that when designing a metal surface, uh, these factors, factors matter, uh, including the phase shift, the amplitude, the discontinuity, and the numbers of unit cells. Uh, other applications uh, of the elastic metal surface are on the way. Now we are trying to find some corporations uh, and try to put our results into practical applications such as uh, vibration, uh, insulation, and uh, uh, non-destructive testing of some structures. So uh, these studies are done co cooperated with my advisors and other co um, collaborators, uh, and uh, thanks to the support uh, of funding such as NSFC. And the uh, last, last one, if you are interested, please contact me. Uh, that's it. Thanks so much for your attention. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for this wonderful talk. So now we will have 10 minutes for the Q&A part. If you, you have any questions, please click the handshake button at the bottom of your screen. Then I can pass the speaker to you. Or you can just type your questions in the chat window and I will pass your question to Professor Liu. Please feel free and join our discussion. Maybe firstly, we can start with our panelists. Does any, uh, does any panelists want to ask any questions? I think uh, Aniruda I, has a question. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That's a, thanks, uh, Yuhan. That was a really wonderful uh, uh, talk. Uh, so I was wondering, like uh, you mentioned at the end, uh, some of the applications uh -huh. uh, for these meta surfaces uh, so what is like a like a real life application that you know everyone can connect to uh, where we can see these type of meta surfaces do you think it could be a good uh, like a damping device for let's say automotive industry or aer aerospace industry okay okay so uh, for the applications of meta surfaces we are now designing some uh, very thin very thin meta surface actually less than the wavelengths uh, to isolate uh, uh, the vibration of, of place or shells. Uh, uh, maybe we, maybe we will use it in, in satellites in the future. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Nice. Uh, the, the, adva uh, the advantage is that they are very small or very thin. I see. And we don't need to use other uh, lossy materials. Uh, so it's quite uh, maybe practical. I see. I see. And, and like, uh, like for satellites, like what would be the property that you're trying to, uh, like, what what is it that you're trying to mitigate with these metamaterials? Is it like some sort of, uh, uh, I don't uh -huh. know, some sort of radiation? Like, what what exactly is that you're trying to mitigate? But I mean, if it's uh, yeah, yeah, maybe negative modulars or negative density. You you mean for for metamaterial, right? Uh, I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bing, I see you. You can just ask your questions. <laughs> uh, Bing is in the attendee. I will list you as the, yeah. I, I just pro promoted him as a panelist. Okay, thank you. Thank you very oh. much. So Bing, can you hear me? You can just ask your question by yourself. Bing, are you there? Yeah. Maybe Professor Tenzhan can 
ask uh, his question first. Yeah. Uh, Professor Tong Zhang, you can go okay. first. Yeah. yeah, very interesting talk. And uh, uh, you mentioned yeah. that uh, you are making the, you, your like uh, meta surface very thin. And yeah, uh, yeah. it looks like uh, your current uh, like um, simulator and experiment is uh, focused on the implant wave. So if very thin, will you have the 3D like uh, bending wave? <laughs> Uh, 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 Professor Peng, uh, Zhang, uh, actually, uh, we are focusing the bending waves, okay. <laughs> not the okay. implant waves. Yeah. yeah, actually, it's for bending waves are placed. Most, uh, all, all of the examples are for bending waves. Of, uh, of I see, sure, yeah, yeah. That's... And, <laughs> and uh, also, do you think it's possible that uh, you use this uh, meta surface as a coating to tune the surface wave, of uh, like oh, oh. substrate and yeah. uh, and the thin and the thin coating? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Actually, there are some um, there, there's a group in 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 France. Uh, in yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a group in France that they use the meta surface to tune the surface wave. Uh, for for earthquake resistance. Yeah, okay. yeah, they have yeah, they have uh, some examples already. So. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so thank you very much. Hello. Yeah, Bing, are you there? Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 I'm here. Sorry, my internet is not that good. Hello, Yun Chen, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, okay, I just, oh, very nice talk, very impressive. I just have Thank one you. question, a small question, <laughs> a basic question. Uh, you mentioned two different meta surfaces in your talk. The first one is mm -hmm. the face the shift uh, meta surface. And another one, you define it as the new generation of meta surface is a amplitude shift meta surface. So yeah. my question is that, uh, which one do you think is better compared to these two different uh, meta surfaces? Uh, in theory, yeah. the, mm -hmm. the the amplitude shift meta surface is is better, uh, of course, because the uh, um, the amplitude shift meta surface not only shift the amplitude only both amplitude uh -huh. and phase. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so but uh, so in I'm reality, maybe uh -huh. not because it's more difficult to realize. Okay, so amplitude uh, shift meta surface. Is combine these two together, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Thank you for your nice talk. Thank you. Thank you, Bian. Mm -hmm. Actually, Bian is one of my collaborators. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I I see there is no question anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I'm so sorry is that there is no more time for the Q&A part. So if you still want to communicate with Professor Liu, you can wait for the discussion just, part. Uh, the end of this <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> please feel free and join us the discussion parts at the end of this webinar. <laughs>